Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspirations and Star Child Tarot and I'm here at my daughter's again, cat sitting. Um, I'm going to be here a few weeks so I haven't got all my decks with you um, so I'm going to, with me rather, so I'm going to, you know, do my best with the decks I have. I'm limited to what I can bring here and today we're going to do a pick a pile and we're going to look at good news coming your way okay so we're going to see what good news is coming towards you you know what good happy changes might be coming in so i pre-shuffled the oracles and we're going to get some tarot as well um i just want to say a big thank you for your love and support i really appreciate all of you i really appreciate your comments your likes your views and your continued support if you're new here welcome i hope you enjoy my content I do have a deck shop of over 90 designs. You'll see me use some of the decks in my readings. I also have a Patreon page, £2 a month. And I've recently published four ebooks, which are poetry and one uh, children's storybook. Um, so please check them out. Okay, so we've got three piles to choose from. So pile one. Got an Anna, grandmother of Jesus. Pile two, take a break. And pile three, in a temple. So pick which pile resonates for you and we get started. Hello, pile one, we're back here with your messages. So good news coming your way. So we've got Anna, grandmother of Jesus, and it says seed in the light, laying foundations, divine plan so i feel your guides and angels want you to know that you're on the divine plan you're doing you know you're going in the right direction and you could have had like a recent awakening or a recent change in your vibration um taking in the light seed in the light you could be somebody that resonates as a light worker or a star seed so you've been on the spiritual path and you're seeding the light you know within yourself and within the collective you're laying foundations for new earth and you could feel very connected with that energy. Um, but there is a divine plan around this and around your life situation as well. And you could have been questioning that recently. So we have magic. Wow. Moonlight enchantment number 25, which is a seven, which is the energy of the year we're in right now. So I do feel before the end of the year, these good news good changes coming in so they want you to believe in magic you know you are magical you are a magical being um you can manifest magic you know if we believe it we can you know conceive it as it were and they want you to tap into that magical aspect of yourself again and it, it could be that you've forgotten that aspect of yourself you know because we we're in the 3d we get bogged down with all the day to day and we forget the magic of life sometimes and they want you to connect to that part of yourself and we've got miracles wow and there's a beautiful rainbow there and we've we've got a beautiful butterfly as well and we've got the number 31 which is a four <clears throat> which is the energy of um stability and i notice there's another butterfly so we've got the purple and the red so i feel this is you balancing out your head you know balancing out getting grounded and balancing out your connection to spirit with your third eye your crown chakra you could need to cleanse your energy with this this uh waterfall energy there you could need a cleanse you know do some cleansing on your energy um but miracles expect miracles for yourself okay because when we expect we can receive that so again magic and miracles they want you to open up to receive these are waiting to come in for you right now and we've got energy so i feel there's going to be a change in your energy we've got the number one plus seven which is an eight which is abundant so i feel you've had some sort of or you're going to have some sort of um raising vibration you know you're doing that inner work and your energy is going to shift you know out of the negative toxic lower density energies you've been doing work on, on yourself healing and when you raise that vibration, you've got fire spirit, connect with your aspect, maybe you're a fire sign, uh, connect with your passion, connect with your desires, and you are going to manifest ma magic and miracles here. And they want you to remember that. This does remind me of the magician energy, actually. 
And, you know, you have the tools all at your disposal to manifest miracles and magic. Wow, we've got caring connections. We've got number five. So five is about change. So this could be something coming towards you if you're not with somebody. If you're already with somebody, we've got the sun behind them there. If you're already with somebody, I feel it could go to the next level. But if not, there's somebody coming towards you who wants to hold you tight, bring you flowers, you know, really express their feelings to you. So that there's definitely a shift there in your love life if if you're single. And even if you're with somebody, the, there's a shift, you know, to the next to the next level, you know, maybe a more committed energy with that four. We had the four, you know, building a foundation. Yeah, change. So again, confirming change. We've got another eight. So we've got eight, eight energy here. So, yeah, I mean, it does look a bit chaotic in this image. But through chaos, keep your centre. Keep calm within the chaos. Whatever's going around you, don't get involved in that. It's, you know, to keep your vibration high, to keep your energy good. Um, we can watch from a distance. We can send love. We can send light to any situation. We don't have to get physically involved in it. We can energetically help, you know, send in love, send in a white light energy, send in the violet flame of transmutation. So whether this is within your life, there could be some sort of upheaval coming in, but it's going to be a good thing, okay, because it's going to bring in positive change. So let's try and keep calm within the storm there. Yeah, overcoming obstacles. So this could be, you know, the chaos I'm picking up there. You know, there's been a lot of obstacles for you to overcome and you are overcoming them. Even if you're not there yet, you are going to be overcoming anything. You're stronger than you think. And we've got divine timing here. So it's all in the timing. Okay, I feel that you need to just trust more, have faith more and believe more. And these are my decks. I forgot to say, this is my deck. Life Lessons Oracle 1 and 2. And this is my deck. Magical Moon Oracles. So we've got Believe in Magic again. So they're reinforcing that magic. And, and not all about the magic. Not every deck has the magic card on, on it. So you've got two magic cards. So they want you to start believing in magic again. You are magic. You can manifest your desires. And, you know, you can manifest miracles. You just need to believe in that. And it's all about changing your energy, your vibration. And we've got romances around the corner. So we saw that with the caring connection. So for those of you looking, there's definitely romance coming in for you. And we've got two become one. So, yeah, there's, you know, somebody coming towards you. I feel you're, you know, you're two single people that are coming together. And it's going to be, you know, really, you know, really a serious, a caring connection. So what does the tarot want to tell pile one? What good news is coming in for pile one? Well, we've got six of cups energy. So for some of you, it could be somebody from the past returning. It, it talks about childhood. It talks about nostalgia. So for some, it definitely could be somebody returning. For others, it could be that you really um, connect on each other's inner child. You know, you have that playful fun energy and we've got page of wands energy here so there could be a communication coming in a passionate message as i say um you know for some it's somebody new for others somebody's returning they want to reach out wow we've got the two of cups so this is you know mutual this is going to be a mutual loving connection here and it's going to be very balanced i feel that you've both been balancing out your energies and you're you're coming at the right time to you know in divine timing i think we had that earlier and it's strong, you know, the, the connection between you is strong, and I feel you're both strong, you've both been through a lot. Yeah, and you're both definitely single when you meet. Um, you're not in that needy energy, you're not codependent, you could have healed from issues like that. And you're both feeling good about being single, you're not looking for a relationship even, maybe. What could do this for Paul on? Yeah, definitely balance again. We've got balance. This is going to be balanced with that Six of Pentacles. Give and take energy. Really positive give and take energy here. And we've got Knight of Cups energy. So it could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or they're just in that energy. Romantic, loving, fun. They have love to offer. They want to have fun with you. Have romantic times. They could be younger than you as well. 
Yeah, we've got the Hierophant come out. So it could lead to a commitment. This is somebody that is serious, I feel, about wanting, you know, wanting a, a serious connection. And we've got success and victory here with the Six of Wands. So this will really work out. This is a very fortunate connection. So I'm going to leave it there, pile. Well, I love her blessings. Hello, pile two. So we're looking at good news coming your way. And you chose to take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So your guys and angels want you to know that you're working too hard. It's time to take a break. To do give yourself some TLC, some loving caring nurturing to do some fun things to get out in the fresh air and to get off the treadmill of life and do something spontaneous maybe okay so you know get off that treadmill it's time to take a break we've got fruition here number 37 so that's a 10 which is a one so something you've been working hard on is coming into fruition it's going to you're going to reap that harvest this reminds me of the harvest moon actually it says harvest moon yeah um, you know, that autumn energy where we, you know, traditionally it's a harvest time, isn't it? And it could be around a full moon. Okay, the next full moon, I'm not sure when that is. But whatever you've been trying to working on or manifesting is going to come into being. Okay, something you're working on is going to come into being very soon. And growth, yeah, number five, change. So you've really been growing, you know, spiritually, mentally, um emotionally you know you've really been growing and they want you to take care of yourself right now and you're coming into your power and we've got the full moon energy again and we've got number one plus six which is a seven which is the energy of the year we're in right now and again a massive moon energy massive full moon so the next full moon could be very significant for you part two i'm not i'm not sure when that is um but you're stepping into your power Okay, you're you're becoming strong, you're becoming powerful. Maybe you're acknowledging that you are a powerful being. And this reminds me of the magician energy. You can manifest your desires. And we saw that things are going to come into being, you know, and you acknowledging your power that you have the ability to manifest your desires. Wow, we've got the sun energy, so we've got another one. So happy times are coming. I feel they're going to be emotional. We've got the water there. It's going to be happy, joyful. Um, you're going to be emotionally cleansed, I feel. Letting go of the past. And coming into a much happier phase of your life. Feeling much more happier in yourself. So that's good. You have playful, playfulness. So get into that playful, fun energy. We've got number 15, which is 6. The energy of love. So this could involve love. This could involve another person. Um, we'll go deeper with that but get into that playful fun energy connect with your inner child bring out your inner child to connect with that fun playful aspect of, of your child and we've got gratitude energy here we've got another six wow so we've got six six so you know get into the energy of gratitude and that looks like a shower of abundance when i saw that immediately it looked like a shower of abundance and the more we can be grateful for what where we are and what we have the more we can attract in more gratitude. And I feel there's a shower of abundance and good fortune coming towards you. Something's coming to fruition, something you've been working on, something you've been working hard on. And that's why they want you to take a break right now. You've been working hard and things are coming into fruition. Things are coming in that you've been manifesting. Yeah, they want you to dream big. You know, they don't want you to dream small. They want you to dream big, you know, except expect the best for yourself expect good for yourself expect all that you've ever wanted for yourself you know don't be afraid to dream big this is my deck magical oh it's upside down magical moon oracles be confident in who you are yeah you have the power you've done a lot of growth um you're in a good energy you know being in that energy of gratitude um, giving yourself, you know, loving yourself, giving yourself that break, giving yourself that time out um, to play and have fun. And not, it's not all about work. You know, life is about that balance of, you know, doing, you know, the serious things with the playful things. And you are powerful. They want you to know that. So be confident in who you are. And starting over fresh starts. So, yeah, there's definitely something new on the horizon, something new. 
Um, you know, this could involve a child in the future. Maybe you're going to have a child. You know, there's a small child there. Maybe you're going to get into a relationship where somebody already has a child. Or you're going to create a child together. Uh, whatever resonates for you. And don't resist, go with the flow. So again, don't try and control anything. Maybe that's why they want you to take a break right now. Maybe you've been trying to control things. And they want you to get out of that energy. And just relax and go with the flow and trust in the process. And we've got major life event. A wedding, a house move, a new job, a new relationship. So for some of you, a major life event in the future. I'm not saying it's going to happen by the end of the year especially if it is a wedding, but it's in your future. Um, nearer things could be a house move, a job, a relationship, because we said about fruition. So you could be manifesting these things. They could be coming in, you know, to your reality very soon. That could lead to a wedding or a house move in the future. So in the near future, it could be maybe a job you've been manifesting or a new relationship and in the future. Or if you're already involved, though, it could obviously be... You know, be the, be the wedding, be the house move if you're already with somebody. So let's get the tarot for part two. What good news is coming your way? Part two. Good news coming your way. Good news coming your way, part two. Good news coming your way. We've got three cups energy here. So I feel this is you going out, celebrating, socialising with your friends. That's what we said at the very beginning. Take a break. Take time out. Have fun. Um, go out, socialise with your friends. Maybe you haven't been doing that very much lately. It's time to get out and celebrate. We got judgment energy so all the good karma all the good deeds that you put out there are going to be returned to you wow we got the emperor energy here so i feel this is you know maybe you're balancing out your feminine and masculine energies but i feel it's a person i feel it's a masculine energy coming towards you who's you know who's in their divine masculine energy there's somebody that's done a lot of work on themselves What good news coming towards part two? Oh my god, we got the Ace of Cups. So we did see that, didn't we, in the Oracles, you know. So I feel this is you important that you're loving on yourself. And part of loving yourself is knowing when to take a break, knowing when to give yourself that TLC. And you're also attracting in a new beginning in love with this Emperor energy. Could be an Aries. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, the wheel is turning. And it's, your life is going to start moving forward. We have the Hierophant here. And we did have that wedding there. So this is somebody that is serious. So it could be somebody that really wants to um, have a commitment with you in the future. And we've got the Page of Swords energy. So this could be somebody that has, a, has had their eye on you online. Especially if it's somebody returning from your past. Um, but, you know, it would be different for everybody. We've got the King of Cups energy. So somebody that has love to offer. Could be a water sign. Somebody that's in their feelings that has love to offer. You know, that wants to have a, a serious relationship. Yeah, we've got eight pentacles come out. So I feel this is you working really hard, you know, on projects or work or whatever. And they want you to take a break. As I said, you're working too hard. And then we've got the lovers. So this is soulmate energy. Okay, this is somebody you're destined to meet, I feel. And yeah, it looks like that's coming, coming towards you. Yeah, we've got nine of cups energy. So this is a wish fulfillment. This is, this is the sort of person you've been wanting in your life that wants a commit a commitment there so i'm going to leave it there part two love and blessing hello part three we're going to look at the good news coming your way so you chose the inner temple and it says devotion tune into the portal of your heart so your guys and angels want you to really connect with your heart space um, maybe you've been a bit closed off maybe you you know close off your heart after heartbreak Maybe you're detached from your heart, your feelings. 
and they really want you to connect more with your feelings, connect with your intuition, tune into your heart space more, um, maybe do some chakra clearing on your heart chakra. They really want you to tune into your heart space more. Yeah, we've got appreciation, number one plus five, six. So have that self-appreciation, love yourself. You know, really love yourself. Be proud of yourself for where you're at and what you've achieved. Um, really, you know, be in that self-love energy, you know, and that self-worth and self-esteem because you deserve it. You're worthy. And we've got the solar plexus here again. So Archangel Shamal. So Archangel Shamal is about love. And, you know, obviously not just love, loving relationships, but self-love. And this is you, you know, getting more confident feeling better about self getting better self-worth self-esteem and it's uh number three plus seven which is the one and the ten which is the one <clears throat> and um <clears throat> this is a whole new way of you looking at yourself maybe maybe you didn't feel that way about yourself for a long time and you're really coming into that energy of self-love self-worth and it's really going to move you forward in your life and we've got daughter romance here number three three which is like an ascended master number so I feel the doors are opening as you do this heart work, you know, working and connecting with your heart. The door is opening that the heart was in a cage and somebody's going to have the lock or you you have the lock to your own heart to unlock the cage, to open your heart. And as you do that, you're going to attract in romance. And so, you know, it's energetics. We pick up on other people's energy. So as you open up your heart to love yourself, you will attract somebody else in that's also in that energy. And we've got beauty. Again, this is your self-worth, your self-esteem, really seeing your beauty, uh, honouring yourself, taking care of yourself, you know, maybe cleansing your energy, getting together with like-minded friends, um, you know, helping each other, sharing, you know, sharing thoughts or feelings with each other, helping you to open up your heart space. And we've got manifesting dreams. And we've got another 10 here. 4 plus 6 is 10. Another 1. Wow. So we've got three three ones here, I think. Or two ones. Um, manifesting your dreams. So again, when we get in touch with our heart space, we feel we're worthy, we feel deserving. That is the place that we can manifest our desires from. That is the place where we manifest our desires. And we've got blossoming here. And another three, three. Wow, I've never had that happen before. So you've got double three, double three. So look that angel number up. So we've got blossoming. You're blossoming. You're blossoming into who you're meant to be. You're blossoming. You're becoming the, you know, that real version of you. Of who you really are. And you're, you're acknowledging that about yourself. And you're seeing that about yourself. Maybe for the first time. And as you get into that, you're manifesting your dreams because you know you're worthy, you know you're deserving. Yes, yeah, self-love. So we've got three sixes here. So 666, and it's not an evil number. Trust me on that, okay? It's, it's a beautiful angel number, so check that out. So <clears throat> getting into that self-love energy, really nurturing and loving yourself is really going to help you move forward and attract love attract an abundance whatever you're dreaming of you can manifest that and it's happening right now because we've got that blossoming card so really love love yourself you know really love on yourself yeah we've got chemistry with somebody new so there's somebody coming in that you're going to have really good chemistry from and this is my deck life lessons one and two the sun is about to shine in your life. Wow. So if you've been going through some really difficult times, the sun is shine going to shine. You've got happier times, more joyful times coming out. And I feel that's all connected with you loving yourself more, really in that energy of self-love. Yeah, brand new beginning. So we saw that over and over again. So there's a brand new beginning coming towards you and it's much more positive, much more happy, much more joyful. And bloom becoming who you were meant to be. So again, we had that blossoming. So you're really getting into that energy of who you were meant to be. And this is my deck, Magical Moon Oracles. So you're really becoming who you're meant to be. And we've got emotional reunion. So for some of you, somebody somebody's coming back that you knew from before. And maybe you've both done heart healing work. 
or it's just somebody you resonate with. It could be a past life connection that you, you know, you're attracting in. And sensual love, you know, it's going to be a very sensual connection, very loving, a very tactile connection. So let's look at your tarot. So what good news is coming towards pile three? What good news is coming towards pile three? Yeah, we've got the Ace of Swords. So there's this honesty and truth coming towards you here. And I feel it starts with, you know, being honest with ourselves, you know, really honouring that. What else for pile three? What good news coming towards you? Good news coming towards pile three. It's all about the timing with the three of wands. It's all in divine timing. So I feel, you know, once you get into that energy of self-love, things are going to get better. Yeah, we've got Page of Cups. So there's definitely somebody going to reach out with a message uh, of love. Yeah, we've got Ace of Cups. Wow. So, you know, again, this is you getting into that energy of self-love. And as you do that, you're attracting in love, a new beginning in love here. We've got Queen of Wands energy. So this, this is you, viewer. I feel, feel this is your energy. Getting into that beautiful energy of passion, um, feeling good, you know, taking care of yourself, you know, doing your hair, your makeup, dressing in a certain way, um, following your passions, following your desires, um, really, you know, taking action after what you want, you know, moving forward in your life. <clears throat> And in that energy, you're going to, being in that self-love, you're going to attract a lot of attention. We've got Queen of Cups as well. So I feel this is two sides of you. You know, you're in that loving, self-loving energy, nurturing, loving, but you're also full of passion and desire and moving towards what you want, you know, going after what you want. And we've got the Chariot. So your life is going to move forward quickly and with the Eight of Wands as well. Communi fast moving communication coming in and, you know, your life is going to move forward Yeah, we've got the High Priestess energy. So really tap into your heart space, as we said at the beginning. Tap, tap, tap into your intuition. And, um, you know, really follow that. Follow your own guidance. Let's see if we can see who is this person <coughs> coming towards you. Pile three. Who is this person coming towards you? Yeah, it's divine justice coming in. Um, I feel all the good deeds that you put out there, all the good... You know, work you've been doing on yourself is really going to manifest this. Who is this person? Can you tell us, Pile 3? Who is this person for Pile 3? Who is this person for Pile 3? Not sure if it's going to tell us. Well, we've got the lovers, so it's soulmate energy. Okay, and you could have known them if you've not met them in this lifetime yet. It could be somebody you resonate with, you recognise from a past life and you've had a connection with them in the past. Wow. And then we've got the Ten of Cups. So you are going to get a loving relationship here with somebody in your near future. Okay, part three, I'm going to leave it there. Love and blessings. Take care.